Yo, what's good with y'all? We back with another video. I'm be showing you guys how to use the switch stick effectively on college football 25. This is one of the best things they added to the game, man. EA did their thing with this one. Now, now this now I ain't gonna lie, the switch stick gets crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. The switch stick gets crazy, but let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and like when to do it. And I'm gonna show you guys like I'm gonna show you like a nice little pro tip and guys what you what you could do to like stop things around the field that you think make it open. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to cover three, and we're gonna be sitting in trips tight end. Pretty much something that everybody's familiar with is trips tight end. So we're gonna do something like PA slot corner. All right, so this is the play I called. On offense, you see PA slot corner. All right, so now we're probably gonna go. Now for this one, we're probably gonna do. We're probably gonna put triangle on the corner route. I just want to showcase this to you guys, and just give y'all a different look. So this this right here is the play call here. So we got we got square we got square on the street. We got triangle on the corner route, and then we got circle on the street as well. Now. With this switch stick, you're able to switch out and go play different routes and things like that. If you whatever you think is gonna get open, but now we're on defense, as you see. Now I'm gonna change my stuff to uh, clouds. Now I don't have my zone drops on. I just want to kind of showcase this for you guys. But when you are clicking off, when you click off of this guy, so let's say let's say for prime example, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hike the ball and I'm gonna click off of this guy. You wanna make sure when you click off of this guy, you do not want this guy to be blitzing. You wanna put him in a zone. You can put him in a mid read, mid third. You can kinda, so basically when you click off, you want this guy to be guarding something over the middle because you don't wanna leave the middle wide open. So you kinda wanna leave him in a hook, mid read. You don't wanna really put him in the flat because if you're using over here and you switch stick, and you think, oh, the corner route's gonna get open. You're like, oh, a corner route's open, I gotta go play it. You don't wanna put him in a flat because you're leaving the middle, the whole middle of the field wide open. So I'm gonna go ahead and hike the ball and I'm gonna show you guys the switch stick. So boom, I'm able to switch. And as y'all see, I'm over here to be able to play these routes. I'm playing these routes a lot better as y'all as y'all can see. Now, you, all you wanna do to get the switch stick off is use your right stick. Just use the right stick. Flick the right stick in the direction of of the uh, next user and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that in the instant replay so as y'all see right here I'm clicked on to this guy as soon as I hike the ball I click off and I go right here to play this middle third now I did struggle to get over here to this corner route but the cloud did play it now in some situations the cloud does not play it sometimes so you kind of want to always make sure you're able to get over there and play it but um, let's do let, let's try it let's try the curls and see the curls play that corner route so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up again I'm gonna go corner route and this time I'm gonna put circle on a post here we'll put circle on a post as y'all see right here so now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see how this plays out all right so now we're going to block the running back and so you always never want to make you always never do not want to put your user on a blitz if you know you're going to switch stick things like that so i think this year blitzing is pretty much kind of it's kind of dead but it's really not you just kind of have to really be good with the switch stick if you're playing coverage i feel like if you're you if you're going to use a switch stick use it in coverage i feel like that's going to be the best example and the best way to use this so we're going to go ahead and hike the ball we we'll hike the ball. I'm able to switch. I'm able to switch over and get over there and play it. As y'all can see, now I couldn't. I couldn't get. I couldn't get over there to the to the uh, to the curl like I wanted to. But as you guys can see, I'm able to get over there instantly and play it. So he does throw that. As y'all see, I'm able to click. I clicked onto this guy here, but he ends up following that route, and I'm on this deep third guy now. Now, now, hear me out. Now, this right here is the key factor that is going to help you win games or potentially lose games. Because if you click on to this guy here, let's say you switch stick to this D third and you try to turn around and play the corner out, but he could potentially throw that streak. He could potentially throw that streak. So now it's going to be split second moves like 
just split that split second decisions because if I'm if I turn around and just instantly try to play this right here this corner route I could just get over there and play the corner around like, oh I think the corner is gonna happen so I'm gonna switch stick over there and try to play it he has the potential to throw that streak and that's gonna make this game it's gonna make this game quite it's gonna make this game quite good and things like that but you guys you guys have to be able to use it and make the right decisions so we're gonna go mid read we're gonna go mid read here now we're gonna go ahead and set up that same concept we're gonna go corner out with the post and so we're gonna go ahead and hike this ball always make sure this is mid read hike the ball and as y'all see i'm over here playing this and I do leave out, I do leave the streak wide open as well, but I'm able to go back there and play it. So if he does throw that, I mean the switch stick is very, very effective, very useful. And as y'all see, I'm over the I'm over there instantly. Like I'm like, oh, okay, in the middle of the field looks good. I'm on this guy right here. And boom. I automatically switch over here. And I'm able to stay over here and play the corner route. Now if he throws that in a real game, he if he throws this in a real game. This is obviously going to be a pick. Now, this is this is what this is exactly what I said, like in the last play. What I mean by as far as making decisions. Now he could throw the corner out, and that's a pick. That's automatically a pick, right? But this streak right here is wide open. You want to be mindful. You really do want to be mindful on how you want to go about these switch stick these switch stick decisions, because the sometimes the switch stick. It's a high risk, high reward type of defense. So you kind of always want to make sure you're doing something really, really good in that sense. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and showcase that again. So let's say, let's say here, corner route with a post. Let me see if I set it up. Okay, I got, got the post. I'm going to block the running back for extra, extra time so I can be get some time to switch. So I hike the ball and I'm over here and I'm over here and I'm over there and I'm over there instantly. Now, the way I switch stick right there, I was kind of playing it safe in between two routes, as y'all can see. But I kind of have to pick my poison. I kind of have to stick with one route, as y'all can see. I'm on this user here and see the moment I click off of him, he's still able to go back and play this. He's still able to go back and play this just in case this guy gets open because this guy is an avert hook. So the vert hooks leaves, the vert hook leaves this guy, and boom, now the mid read takes over here, which is smart. And so now the only potential throw he has is literally nothing. Literally nothing in, in this point. So literally nothing. But when you get the switch stick off, you kinda you kinda guys are seeing what I'm saying. I'm kind of picking my poison here. Now he has to literally throw this to the sidelines. That's the only way he's gonna complete this pass. Because if he pass lead this ball up, it's a pick. And if he pass lead the ball down, my curl might have a chance to get this. Just might. All right, so I'll go ahead and run this one more time just to get you guys a show. So the only thing you guys want to do is move your right stick to the left, to the right, diagonal, wherever you think you need to move it to, to make the best play possible. And so sometimes mid read here. So let's say I want to switch the defense up a little bit. Let's say... I'm gonna man this guy up. Let's say I'm gonna man that guy up here and leave my mid re here. Now, let's say I am in the cover cover three, right? Cover three, you know, you guys know that corner routes beat cover three. So let's go corner route here. So now let's try, let's try to get that switch stick off to that curl right there. So let's hike this ball. Let's go ahead and make sure we got the corner route set up. And I went double corner route on accident. Let's go post. And we got the setup, block the running back. All right. All right, so defense here. Let's see if we can get that switch stick off on this, on that curl right there. That's really what we want. We really want that curl because the curl is really not guarding anything. So we got to make sure to get that switch stick on that curl. So we're going to go ahead and hike the ball. And boom, I'm automatically over there on that. And we got it pretty much everything covered. Now, it took, it didn't take me that long to get over there. Now, this could be better. This is a lot better in game, obviously. But, like, as y'all see, I switched. I did get cooked. Did, I did get cooked right here because I did switch. I did switch stick to someone who's manned up. 
Now that can happen. Now trust me, that can happen. But this right here, that's an automatic throw, automatic catch. But as y'all see, as the curl, y'all seen in the previous plays, the curl was playing down here. It's playing downhill. But now I made the curl come up, which means I play this corner route. And if that's his number one read, if that's his number one read right here to look at that corner route, everything's pretty much covered. I got that covered. And he can potentially throw picks as well in the process because I'm able to go able to go over there and play on the switch stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this one more time. Go ahead and make this throw. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this one more time. The switch stick, the best mechanic in the game. And I just kind of want to showcase this to y'all, man. Look. So we're gonna go mid read here. We're gonna man up this guy. We're gonna man this guy up. Go corner route on this guy. We're gonna go post on this guy. So kind of what we want to do is hike the ball. And as y'all see, I'm able to just get over there instantly and now it's covered. I'm able to get over there instantly and it's covered. Everything is pretty much covered at that point. As y'all see my controller fell. But look, as y'all see, like, look at this. Instant switch stick to the curl flat and I'm able to go over there and play it. Now right here, this right here was a better, better switch stick here because now the middle of the field is covered. Now for this pass here, this is the only pass that's really open to be honest, but this is like a contested type pass. But as y'all see, everything is pretty much covered. As y'all can see, I was automatically on this user. I had him on a mid read. Now the mid read is gonna play this, which means he's gonna turn around and play that. So that's a pick and it's manned up. So we pretty much good. And then we have the corner route and we're following it and it's covered. That's pretty much a switch stick, the best the best defensive mechanic that EA's came out with, honestly, because before in in previous in previous titles you were able in in previous titles you were pretty much cooked, like you really couldn't do much about this. Like let's say I had that guy over there in that route and I wanted to throw that right there, I, I'm pretty much cooked. I'm pretty much cooked right there. I'm pretty much cooked on the corner route. So let's go ahead and I just want to showcase this real quick. So in previous titles, this is exactly how the corner route worked in previous titles. So you would go, you would throw it and boom. I mean, you would get instant catches like that. You would get instant catches like that and there's nothing you could do about it against the cover three. Nothing you could do about it if you're in cover three. Just, I mean, that's, that's just a good pass, a good play. And it's just, it's so simple. And you really couldn't do much about that. It's wide open every single time. The only way you would be able to recover that is if you had zone drops on. But sometimes a lot of these routes, they get over the zone drops. Like, they just do. So, in order to prevent that, you're able to play it a lot better, a lot smoother. So, boom. Like, right there. You, you, in previous titles, like Madden 24, you're not able to play that. You're not able to play that at all. Come down, make a play. You're just not able to play that. That's literally the only way you be able to make the play is is uh, if if he's able to uh, just get an animation. That's like the only way you're able to get that off. I'm gonna go ahead and show this one more time. Boom. And I mean, I'm there. I'm there, and I get easy easy 20 yards, easy 20 to 25 yards on that. But the switch stick, the best mechanic in the game. Um, one more time for you guys. All you want to do is use your right, use your right stick. Just flick it left, right, diagonal, whichever way you want, and you get the switch stick. And that's literally all you have to do in order to make good plays and and just pretty much take away things that you think are gonna get open. But anyway, man, y'all stay safe, y'all stay out of trouble, man. And I'm out this bit.